is my closet, my second closet, okay? Listen. Listen. Okay, I just like to shop a lot, okay? Well, it's a new day and there's a new social media star proving that they're not really who they say they are on camera. Surprising. Nico Lol, more formally known as the OK Boomer Girl, posted a tour of her new $2 million apartment yesterday. And now while it's no surprise that a famous TikToker is buying a fancy apartment, some of her past TikToks make this an interesting choice of video for her. In quite a few of her past TikToks, she made videos dancing to songs with a Tax the Rich sweater on. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. A sweater that said tax the rich. Are you, uh, are you seeing the problem here? Now, once this video was posted, Twitter lost its shit, because, I mean, it's Twitter. But, I mean, I understand why. A so-called socialist who has been calling for us to tax the rich and eat the 1% turned around and posted a $2 million tour of her new penthouse. And, of course, Nicolo backpedaled after all the backlash and said that that sweater was talking about billionaires and the 1%. Well, homegirl, I have some bad news for you. If you can afford a $2 million penthouse, you're probably making over 500 grand a year, and that slots you right into the 1%. But one of the main reasons people were mad was because of how braggy she seemed to be during the tour. So I thought, why not watch it together and we'll see what all the fuss is about. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey, I didn't expect you there. Come on in. I can already tell that this is gonna be painful. Hey guys, welcome to my apartment. I told you guys about a month or two ago that I moved into a bigger apartment and I was gonna- Is that fucking Among Us art? I guess money doesn't buy taste, huh? This is Nick's room. Oh, hi there. Um, unfortunately, I cannot show you Nick's room because he has top secret information in there that is top secret. So I won't be able to show you the top secret room today, but I'll show you guys next time. Oh, okay. So what you're telling me is he accidentally left a cum rag on the floor before filming. Got it. Okay. Um, I never had a laundry room, so this is pretty cool. Usually my laundry was like in the kitchen area somewhere. So this is pretty fancy. And then this is the bathroom. It has a view of the how high we are because I don't even think I need to show y'all some of the comments made about this bathroom window. I feel like y'all can probably use your imagination, but just know that they were uh they weren't good. Like people trying to move into that adjacent building not good. It reminds me of that we're one earthquake away from death. So this is a bathtub I never use, by the way. I never use this bathtub, but like it's nice or whatever. If you want to feel alive and take a bath next to a window, no one can fall right through it. This is our second bathroom. As you see, I'm a Picasso myself, so I have all these paintings here. And this is a toilet where you do toilet things. Some people poop, some people pee. So, a porcelain, a porcelain throne, one might say. I'm really not trying to be outwardly mean, but she is just, just not funny. I mean, this is kind of getting hard to watch just because of all these, like, I guess, jokes. They're just kind of weird statements. So, this is our bed. Um, Nick and I take turns. Nick and I. Nick and I take turns um, sleeping on it. Of course, we would never sleep together on the same bed. That's that's a sin. Never. So, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I sleep on it. He sleeps on it Tuesday, Thursday. And then on the weekends, one of us sleeps on it. You know how it is. Um, is this like a joke? I honestly can't tell because I thought it was a joke at first, but then it went on and on and on. Is this just something she says to appease her donators so they don't pull a Pokemane on her? I'm kind of confused. You know, leave room for Jesus. I wasn't thinking I was going to show you guys this, but I might as well show you. But we have a pretty sick view. <laughs> Is this not a house tour? Why would you not plan on showing your balcony? Seems like a pretty significant part of the house. You paid good money for that, remember? Two million dollars. You put it in the title. I just hate being on the balcony because I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty scary, 
but it's pretty cool sometimes to come out here. All right, back inside, because I'm scared. <laughs> I forgot to show you guys. This is my closet. So this is Nick's corner of the closet. That, except that one, that one's mine. And except all of these, these are mine. And these. And then all of this area over here is mine. Um, and this down here is mine as well. It's like she doesn't know when to stop making the joke. It just goes on and on and on until it just seems like she's talking normally. But you have to remember that it's an attempt to be humorous, and then it kind of just makes it all worse again. So pretty much Nick is these two racks right here. And like this top area. But he has his man cave, that's what matters, right? Like. Okay, let's move on. This door right here, you never open that door. You just, you just never open that door. Okay. Oh God, I can't believe I opened that door. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, now as you can see, we're- I think the funniest part to me is the absolutely insane amount of lighting equipment scattered across the entire apartment. I mean, you'd walk in here thinking this was like a movie set, but it's just for TikTok dances. I think I have counted eight different pieces of lighting equipment so far. And if you come over here, this is my work in progress, by the way. This is my Adventure Time themed bathroom. So as you guys can see here, we have Adventure Time towels, hand towels. Finn, Bimo, Jake, Lumpy Space Princess. Lumpy Space Princess. A Jake body scrub. I have not used it, but I don't think I'm planning to. Once again, I do not think I need to spell out for you some of the comments that were made about this loofah. I mean, there were some comments that I saw, and uh, if certain arrangements were made that um, were proposed, she'd be able to buy a, buy a $4 million apartment. God has abandoned us. All the stuff in my stream room is actually gifted from my community. I had a little Amazon shopping list um, where my stream decorated my stream room, and all these decorations are from some of my viewers. This just rubs me the wrong way. I know that the the people who bought it were not forced to do so or anything. And donations and stuff like that is perfectly normal when you want to support a content creator. But having people buy like hundreds of things to help furnish the seven figure home you just bought, it's just kind of icky. So this makes my little content area all the more special because it has something for my community. And that's why it makes me really happy every time I'm in here because it's all about content. It's all about content creating and it's definitely all the things that I like. So shout out to my viewers for helping me decorate my streamer. Okay, and I think other than that, I think the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is my closet, my second closet, okay? Listen, listen, okay? I just like to shop a lot, okay? Oh, you like to shop a lot, so you have like a bunch of, you know, disposable income, so you could say that you're well off or maybe maybe even rich. But it seems like you have a, a disposition to people who are called that. It's quite the conundrum, huh? I like clothes. I look I like looking cute. Okay, so don't judge me, but this is my closet. I have a lot of cosplays. I have more clothes and also I have my things for my setup if I need cables, if I need charger. Wow, there is literally thousands of dollars worth of designer handbags and designer shoes that I just saw in a span of five seconds. Not even getting a good look at the closet. But yeah, okay, you want to tax the rich? Fucking pathetic. They're all right here. Um, my switch, lighting, light strips to make my content space more colorful, and um, yeah. Some, some pops right here, and all my neat, cute stuff. So, other than that, that is my stream room. All right, guys, that's it for my apartment tour today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't. Now, let me make it clear that I'm not attacking anybody for being rich. I mean, turning content creation into your job is my dream and a lot of other people's dream. So I'm not attacking that in any way, shape, or form. I think it's obvious, but I mean, somebody in the comments is not going to get this through their head. But I'm calling out the very obvious hypocrisy. I mean, her saying tax the rich and eat the rich, she is the f***.
fucking rich. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.